Welcome back to At Home with Roby. I'm Patrick McIsaac from Roby Electric, along with Trent Haston from the Roby family of companies. We are your hosts. We are joined still by Walter Bridgman. We had your twin brother, Walter Brigman, <laughs> on earlier. I apologize for mispronouncing your last name. With, with the last name like McIsaac, though, I'm, I'm pretty used to it. Yep. Um, but we started the show out a little bit talking about how we got to know Walter and Trent, I might steal a little bit of your thunder today, and I'm going to give a business lesson of the week. Oh, wow. Man, can I just – I'm going to lay back. Just, just, just tell me how I do, okay? You can critique me after oh, I'm wow. done. So we met Walter initially because Walter had a service provider. We'll just say it's an electrician that did not call him back, mm-hmm. okay? Um, and and thank goodness we, you were one of the few, I guess, that we decided to call back at Roby Electric. <laughs> Obviously, I'm being modest. And we call Walter back, and now we've formed this great relationship, and Walter has utilized Roby services on, on more than one occasion. And, and, of course, now we've got this great friendship and relationship, yep. Yep. And, and we realize that we're fighting the same fight. So, it's, Trent, that's an easy one. Call people back. Right. I agree. It's simple. That's lesson number one. Everything's the number one. Le- <laughs> like today. the tigers go, rah, 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 rah. Oh, man. Mm-hmm. I am in an orange shirt today with a big Clemson Tiger paw. Um, I slept about two hours since Monday night. Uh, it's, it's that exciting. So, uh, so Walter, let's you get back like into it. it. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? <laughs> My throat's all scratchy. But let's get back into it. We were talking a little bit about, uh, obviously, we had a water damage issue at my house, mm-hmm. something that Remedics Restoration <coughs> does. And then sure. Trent started mentioning a little bit about fire damage, um, just kind of going through your, your catalog of services here. You know, we, we do some of that. Um, you know, really, our, our, our focus is is is, is the uh, re- remediation aspect of it and, and, and the water piece to it. You know, another aspect that we're trying to move into is is working with commercial real estate companies. Yep. What we find is uh, you're a real estate agent, you're trying to rent a space, uh, you're a landlord, you're trying to get your space leased out, uh, there is a funky odor in there. What do you do about that? It could be that the people, the lo- other tenants, smoked, um, and um, what do you do about that? That's one, one area that we're, we can come in and we can clean the vents. We can also use some, some products called Odorox. It is a machine that, that will, will purify the air and let those run for, you know, whether it's a couple of days or it depends upon how many packs of cigarettes they smoked in there. It could be longer. <laughs> but uh, it's an area that we can come in, you know, make sure those carpets are clean, uh, the, 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 um, you know, the air ducts are clean, and then, and then we help purify the air. What that does is that it can put a, a piece of property uh, on the market faster than just letting it air dry. So and let me is, ask you. Mm-hmm. Are you accusing uh, people at at work still smoke a lot? I'm not saying one way or the other because if it's a private industry, <laughs> you can do what you want to. Uh, but if if they do, or or it could be that there is a a funky you know odor in there, you know one we can kind of help them with that. Well, well, I noticed too. I mean, a lot of times commercial property, especially if it's in a building and it's one room or. You know, especially older buildings mm-hmm. that don't have the proper ventilation right. or the, they had not maintained their HVAC system, so right. they get sure. moisture. In the, I mean, you go up on the third floor, and this one going to rent this 1,000-square-foot suite, and it's, it just smells. That's right. <clears throat> and, uh, I mean, smoking, but also just, just stagnant air. And, and, Funky and air, also, yes. I guess this causes a problem, but you see this happens with both homes and businesses. You see... When people vacate That's and it's right. empty, that people cut the air off and stop the air from circulating. You do that for a couple mm-hmm. of weeks, and if it's humid outside or whatever, man, you can really that petri dish is cooking. Without that, you know, any time a house is is vacant or a place is vacant, you have that stagnant air, and it just runs down faster than people living in there because you have fresh air circulating through there. And and if you're a real estate agent or you're a landlord. You, what do you want to do? You want to get that vacant property yeah. leased, and and and, and you don't want to monetize that as fast as right. you can. And so we're 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 going to go out and start talking to uh, commercial real estate agents. Let them know, hey, this is something else that we can do for you. And uh, we think we're and that's and that's that. I mean that's other than being camaraderie and being friends and 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 hoping that we're successful together. I mean that's where we're big. This is business lesson, Patrick. You did awesome on call people back lesson. <laughs> Thanks, man. But the, we, we're big on business to business, and I spoke about that. That's where Roby really found its inflection point in the early two thousands. And 
our commercial business and our hand, commercial handyman business and then our, our services business on the electrical side, we're, you know, we're building relationships with commercial real estate brokers and yep. owners. And, I mean, our goal is to team up with folks like Walter and his firm and, and be a one-stop shop to make it easy and share relationships. I mean, the funny thing is we're building a – a house and and selling it and i'm kind of doing this this is kind of little my little my little side deal Project manager and I, was, I i <clears throat> monday night i went by lowe's which <laughs> you can love lowe's or hate lowe's my dad used to always say the big boxes are trying to put us out of business because they want to do our job and and install stuff uh but it's a one-stop shop and I and I was in there, and I got to look at plumbing fixtures, appliances, and roofing shingles, <laughs> you know? Yeah. And I was like, man, there's value in it. And, and, and buy some nails while you're in there, too. You know, so uh, well, well, it, it, we're it, trying to build that with relationships, call people back as a team. I mean, if somebody thinks Walter does a good job, they go, hey, man, you got an electrician. Hopefully he's going to say, yeah. Well, well, th- well, this is something else that we do, too, that, that, that a lot of uh, – r- r- remediation companies don't always do is that we do what we call a put back and so so a lot of times there is some destruction if you have moisture in your walls you have to take you know you have to to uh, tear out part of the the, the drywall right yep. out the the insulation uh remediate the, the the mold you have to sand the mold you have to 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 to, to fully get rid of it a lot of companies will just leave you there and so that makes makes the homeowner now a general manager, right? A general contractor manager. We'll come in and and restore it back to where it was. And so we find that a lot of a lot of individuals like that aspect of it. Insurance companies like that. They were one stop shop ourselves, and that's what we do. That's similar. I mean, S- Sandy Thomas and I talk about that all the time with her residential real estate expertise. And when we're helping someone sell a property that might be going commercial because the area is growing and they're getting high values, <coughs> well, a, a traditional commercial broker is worried about getting you the maximum return, which is great on your property. But they don't know high nor hair about helping this family move to their next home. And and that's where the at your own at home with Roby, but it's the same thing. We put back, we get you to the next spot, so we carry it on through the process. Add, add, add a lot more value in that. Well, Trent, you're speaking of Sandy Thomas, obviously the broker in charge of at Roby Realty. Yes, um, in the one stop shop. Hey, what you said, love or hate Lowe's? I'll tell you what, we love Lowe's at Roby. I love them. We're an installer. I'm shopping. I'm telling hey, you. I'm My point you. is, I'm telling you, <laughs> it, it's what it is. There's yeah. value in that. That's there right. really there is, is value they, they, and convenience. And I'll tell you, the people, the people are very helpful. And I mean, we spend a ton of money at the Roby family of companies with both Lowe's great, and Home They're Depot. a great customer of Roby Electric as well. I'm partial to Lowe's because they're local, right? Based out of what? Canapolis, Salisbury, Morrisville, so, Wilkesboro. Really? Oh yeah, I missed all of them. <laughs> <laughs> Wrong highway. So, Walter, you're a fellow Tar Heel. Yes, sir. And it's basketball season. That's right. And you sent to me last week, you were texting me some <laughs> number range that had a 51-point spread on it. I don't understand what that was all about. Uh, just sending out just, just, just sending out joy to my friends. <laughs> just sending out joy. Well, if we're going to go down this road, now, hold on. I went, I went to the, uh, the North Carolina Clemson game at Clemson, and we took you jokers to overtime. Oh, man. I'm telling you what, I could care less. <laughs> we're still floating on football oh, season, I buddy. Well, yeah, I mean, we don't I, need I, any I, more I, of the I first save. I do Well, as, as, as you should. I mean, and, and, you know, the only thing we can say about Clemson is how many times have you won in Chapel Hill? Zero. <laughs> I just know. I just know your basketball coaches always have animosity against yeah, Dean why, why Smith. Is that? Why, 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 why the hate? That's Rick Brown. Was that twenty? Uh, it was twenty years ago? Cliff Ellis. Who was it? Was uh, he Cliff was Ellis together. tried to fight Dean Smith and, and Rick, Barnes. Rick Barnes? Rick Barnes. Yeah, Rick Barnes. Fight, yeah, Rick, I said Brown. You don't even yeah. know your coach's yeah, name. Rick, Rick Barnes tried to pick a fight with, with Dean and, and can't do that. Uh, can't no, you? you can't. Well, you shouldn't. <laughs> it's, just, it's just not proper. It's not. It's not. Hey, I, I, I grew up at, at Tar Heel. My both my parents, my mom, my dad went to Chapel Hill. My mom went to UNCG. So I, well, I got a little love for. Well, you, I was Tar born Hills. in Clemson. There we oh, go. I was born. There in we Clemson. go. Yeah, Give me a fist. Go. Yeah. Got the heck out yeah. of town. That's, That's right. right. He gone. So That's so right. Walter, I, I'm so impressed that that you run. You know, getting into this business and, and you you and your partner Diane and you you buying this business. Give us a little bit about how people can get in touch with you, how they can look you up. and uh, Yeah, the, the, the easiest way is is on our, our website is 
com. Phone number is 803-802-5385. Well, Walter Bridgman, yes, sir. thank you for being here. Uh, Godspeed, good luck with your company, and, and we'll see you on the other side, brother. All right. Thank you, Trent. Thank we'll you. be right back.